Hey guys, welcome to QA Automated. Uh, today, in this video, we are going to see how to locate web elements in Selenium. And this is going to be a little longer video, but this is going to be the most important video in learning Selenium series. So stay tuned. Uh, first, we need to see to find a web element, we need a web page source code that is HTML source code. So first we will see how we can get that source code. I have opened this website, my blog website qaautomated.com and we will see how I can locate the element for this particular web page. So suppose I want to locate this Selenium web driver because I want to automate the click on it. And then I will select this and right click on it and click on inspect element. This works in Firefox as well as in Chrome browser. So you can use this method. So here this highlighted line of code is the HTML source code for this particular thing. So using this HTML source code, we can locate web elements uniquely and we can perform different actions on them. So uh, how, we are how we can use this HTML code and locate the element that's what we are going to see in this next slide. We have just seen now how we can get the HTML code. So check here the example of HTML code. So this code is for button. So button is the HTML tag here and this has different attributes. So every HTML code will be in this format. So it will have an tag and then it will have some attributes and it will have a text value as well. Sorry. So, so in this uh, first example, button is the tag, ID is submit1, class name is CS name and submit is the value which appears on the button. So in this code we have ID. ID is the thing which we can use uniquely identify the element. So using that ID, we can uh, use this line like selenium web element. So we are declaring a web element. What is the element name? This is the submit button. And then we are call uh, uh, what driver object we have using that we are calling this find element method. So find element method will use ID as an attribute here and value will be submit one so using this we can locate that particular button and perform actions whatever we want to perform similarly we can use a link uh, link text here so link text means if you have a hyperlink which says uh, click here and you want to click that one so use uh, using this uh, html code you can uh, select the link text directly and write it here in your code and you can locate it then we can use class name so in this example class name is cs name which way which we can use here and locate that element then next go to partial link test so if our link test is a paragraph or it's a big text then we don't have to write the complete text we can write the partial text so instead of click here, we can just right click and it will work fine. And last one and the most useful one is XPath. So XPath is the most important. In case we don't have unique ID, unique class name, unique partial link, the XPath is the one which is going to help us. So let us see how to use that. So let us see what is XPath. XPath is defined as an XML path. It is a syntax or a language for finding any element on the web page using XML path expressions. So XPath is used to find the location of any element on the web page using the HTML source code. This is, uh, so this is the basic format of XPath which is given here. Uh, xpath equal to double uh, this double slash so double slash is for selecting the current node so which node we want to select we can uh, use it with the tag name so we know the tag name is uh, in previous example we have seen button was the tag name similarly we have dims uh, div span etc and we can use this tag name the next part of the xpath is attribute so we can uh, specify it with the symbol at the rate 
so that we can identify it that is attribute so attribute can be id class name or uh, text and value will be the value of that attribute given in the html source code so as we have seen in the previous uh, slide so this uh, double slash is for uh, refer current node then at the rate is to refer the attribute and a single quotes is to specify the value of an attribute let us see some basic examples of uh, xpath so here we have written for input tag we have used attribute class and value will be c name similarly we have written this for the span text this two are uh, using uh, different xpath functions uh, contains and text which we will see in the next slides coming slides so let's get started uh, write xpath using contents so what is contents contents is a method used in xpath expression it is used when the value of an attribute changes dynamically for example the uh, for example we have a button uh, name uh, with you using BT, btn1 btn2 and it, it can change so we can use partial uh, partial text of the name and we can write the xpath and it will work even if the value slightly changes next is to write the xpath using or and and operation so in or expression two conditions are used so uh, here when at uh, means at least one condition if it's satisfied it will locate the button so in the first uh, example if you see the attribute has type submit or the name of the button should be button reset if either of these two are met then it will locate the element correctly and you want that particular element where either of these two is true that is or expression in and expression x bar means you want both to be true like the type of the button should be submit plus the name written on this should be button login so in this case if both the conditions are satisfied then only it will go and click on that button next is uh, writing xpath to using starts with function starts with function finds the element whose attribute value changes on refresh or any operation on the web page so in this case you have to match with the starting text of the attribute and not the complete text so in this example uh, we have used a uh, tag as a label and id as a message so in case if the id is changing uh, message 1 message 2 message 3 but the first part of the uh, at, uh, value is constant that is it is message is constant then we can use that to find the element uniquely next it's using text in this expression the text function we can find the element with exact text match means uh, if there is an error messages or uh, there is a text which you want to highlight or click or assert and if you can write the exact text along with the tag in the x path in the uh, like given in the example then you can use this function text directly but you have to write the complete text as it is uh, it is case sensitive and spaces uh, exactly you have to write as it is given so next we will see uh, what is absolute x path and what is uh, relative x path so as we uh, see absolute x path is uh, what we can get it from the root tag so uh, in html root tag is html and we have child tag sub tag and this is how html structure is it is like a dom tree structure so if uh, if we have any uh, tools like firebug we have a firebug add-on added in our firefox then we can just right click on the element on which we want to click and we can copy the xpath which will look like this this is called as absolute uh, xpath which starts from the root tag till the tag which we want to locate but there is a disadvantage of using absolute xpath because if there is any change in the xpath then it it doesn't work because it 
takes complete tree structure and in between tree if there is any new thing added or any changes there then this x path will not work then we have a relative text path uh, x path so relative x path is what we have seen so far how to write it it is relative to the particular tag uh, so we know on which tab on which level we want it starts with double slash uh, unlike the absolute x path and it gives us the exact path so there are very less chan chances of failing some other tag could fail this x path so it is always better to write a relative x path so thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you have any questions comments suggestions anything you can write it in the comment section plus detailed link of my blog is given in the description box where you can read more details on on about this video and do subscribe to my channel so you won't miss next coming videos and thanks for watching